Hi, I'm Tim. And I'm Julie, and we're with Zenigration.com. We continue with our fifth, sorry, our ninth aspect. Oh, we <laughs> <laughs> doing this. Um, our ninth aspect of, of um, being the a art, The art of being, being a Zentologist. And so we've covered eight other points. We highly encourage you to go back and take a look at those if you have not seen them, especially at this point, because these will make no sense to you. Um, at point number nine, if you haven't seen the first eight. So the other areas that we covered, and I am going to go through this fast, is sacred pace, which means slowing down, grounding and getting in your body, present moment, and really being in that space and hearing and seeing others, mm -hmm. clarity, open mm -hmm. to innovation and creation, emergence of the true you, and being mysterious in all ways, Mm -hmm. and what that attracts to you when you can get to that space. Freedom breaking from the norm and the expected, which is huge on breaking through the boxes and the boundaries that we have set, um, that we often come into this world with, and then we don't know any different. So it's breaking through all those boundaries. And now we're going to talk about spaces between spaces. So do you want to start with that one, Tim? Well, maybe there's a, if those of you who have seen the movie Inception would know what this means. It's it's for every heartbeat and every second that you that you live in, and in between the seconds, there could be a lifetime, and many lifetimes of uh, of living, and you will never see that unless you pause and go between the seconds. So if you've never seen the movie, it's worth looking. It's a, a, a quite of a heady movie. I make you think they go about eight levels deep in that. Um, but uh, we're going to cover the pause button. So you need to find the pause in your life and find a way to be able to hit pause. Get your remote control of your life and, you, and, and, and your surroundings, and you need to find the right time in between your heartbeats to hit the pause button. So how do you do that, Jillian? <laughs> how do we do that? Meditation and breath work is, are really probably the two most common the most ways powerful things. to really get um, life to pause for you. So if you want to get in a really energized, calm, still, centered, Point and you, and you get those glimpses of pure space. That's the space between the spaces. When you actually achieve that moment when the mind is saying nothing, it's speechless. The space between the spaces. Sure, I don't think it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> not, not necessarily. Yeah, not necessarily. <laughs> you, you have to let the mind quiet down first. And there's a training process you go through, and there's some meditations that we can help with uh, that we will we'll cover in our program. Um, that will help you reach the place where the mind can be freed of the clutter, and then you can actually be in, this, in the place where you can have a moment of that of that silence. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you've never read uh, Eckhart Tolle uh, or listened to his stuff on YouTube, he's got plenty of free stuff out there. There's several books on this about meditation. There's no shortage of this. The question isn't the shortage; it's the, the information. the The real question is. Do you need, do you, are you at a place because of the, the, like the, um, I said eight other steps that you've done before this that gets you to the point where you can actually now start embracing this pause? Mm -hmm. And, and this was, this is the, the point here. It's really, it's a process you need to go through to be able to reach this place where that pause button in your life is, is a meditation. It's, it's some breath work. It is, allows you to, you know, be in the place where there's a calm, and it is from this meditative space where the mind is no longer in control, it goes into the heart. And you are one, you're functioning from the heart, and you're functioning in, in a place where your, your authentic, true self is showing itself. And it is in this space that you'll find that you can really find yourself doing anything. You can be creative, you can be, you know, you can, you can, you can be, be creative or you can do whatever your mind or your heart desires. It's a correction there, not the mind, it's the heart desires. And it's through that you'll find that it, all you have to do is come into your body and come back into, into the space when you hit the unpause and take that very first step that is unblocked to act on what you, what you have felt in that space. It'll allow you to take you to the next level. So meditation is, you know, certainly the monks have done it for a long time. People do it all the time. Uh, and you do not need to go to the top of a mountain to find this spot. 
the spot is in you. You bring it with you. So you need to really understand that this is not something where you need to go to a quiet uh, place up in the, in the Himalayas someplace and, and that's the only place you can meditate. You can do that in your space. Put your noise cancelling headphones on and, and take some action that will allow you to be in that moment of pause. Now in that moment of pause, it would be amazing what your heart will, will speak to you. Mm-hmm. And you know, another critical piece of this is really inviting your mind to co-create with you. And the mind, once it gets starts adjusting to your new behaviors, you actually are kind of excited about doing some new and exciting things. Besides all the old stuff and having to be fully responsible for your next step based on everything in your past. And it, it'll start opening up to allow that inner source of wisdom that's just been waiting there to start busting through. And that allows your divine within to start speaking through the core essence of who you are. So we get back to what is your divine right? Your divine right is to joy, love, and peace. So we really want you to feel into that. And you can actually feel into that when you're doing your meditation work. Um, and breath work can be as simple as, you know, three deep breaths that just calms your body. And so we, <coughs> and so you start working with that divine energy within and it starts radiating out and it, that force itself is pure creation um, like it created earth that was pure creation it's still being going on we just, we just aren't paying attention to it so be active in it be conscious of it be in your creative forces be in that drop in that space between spaces because that's when you're going to get your strongest insights your strongest next steps are going to be in that space between spaces it's an interesting uh, thing, maybe just to re- reflect on. A lot of times I'll find myself when I'm, when I'm talking to people or presenting in, in, a, in a scenario where there's a lot of information that needs to come out. And, and I find myself <clears throat> where I have presented the whole presentation and I don't remember it actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had one of those moments? <laughs> That's when the divine kicks in, and in between the spaces of your of whatever you were doing, you actually allowed the creative self to come through. Some people call it your higher self. Some people call it the, the true you, the child in you. Whatever that is, it comes through in between those spaces, and you you actually the you know the mind of you is shut off, and the flow is just amazing. And it is some of the most powerful presentations I've done, and and, and talks I've done. Uh, and, and quite frankly, it is it is just gives you the chills to think that. You know, sometimes you're driving a car and you, you arrive home and you have no memory of how you got there because in that time period you were actually experiencing that, that space and you were in a place where the mind was not active and controlling and you were being, your body knows how to control things and you just act and mechanically do all the stuff, but that space can be as long as a lifetime if you really let it. Mm-hmm. And and it's that takes that takes that training to get there. And some people just do this all the time. They can just literally channel themselves through in, in the in the spaces and you know, ninety percent of the time or hundred percent of the time it is it's dead on. It's right where you what you need to say and what you need to do and you just let that flow. Mm-hmm. And the creative came out of you. So anyway, a little something to I'm sure we've all all had experiences similar to that. <laughs> Yeah, so what, what's really happening is you're going into stillness and you're actually doing the act of doing nothing, which really blows your mind, by the way. <laughs> it cannot handle that, right? Because just think about it. And the man's, I don't remember how many particles of information the mind goes through in every second, but it's too many. And so it, it's, it's really getting into that space of doing nothing for a moment, pause, so what you're really supposed to do can actually show itself. And if you're in a space... Um, and it's not clear, then be okay with doing nothing. Doing nothing can be sitting in a meditation. Doing nothing can mean going for a walk. It can mean taking a couple days off. It can mean taking an hour off. You'll start feeling yourself and knowing and understanding what really helps relax your body and get your mind off whatever you're trying to force and start doing those things to open up the space again. So... I think we're, we've covered this pretty well. Um, so spaces between spaces. Um, play with play with that in your dream time. See what you know how you feel in the morning. <laughs> and again, um, list your biggest questions, your biggest 
problems with you know really tapping into that inner source and getting to do the do nothing part. <clears throat> and um, you know, and then keep in mind. Yeah, put, put the comments on the blog side or the website where you, you saw this video. And uh, we will absolutely respond to that, and we'll be happy to also include some of your insights into the next set of videos we'll do for you. Mm -hmm. Then keep an eye, um, watch out for the Zentologist Core. The Core program is going to make a lot more sense after uh, you'll see why we have this program with uh, with all the things that we're covering with these with these aspects of being a, a Zentologist. So, thank you so much. We love you all, and we look forward to seeing you in the next module. And we're going to be covering Be Bold and Consciously Choosing. So, uh -huh. boldness is coming forth. Um, and being, being, con being conscious, being, being aware conscious and what you're choosing. Very good. Until next time, this is Tim and Julie from Zanigration.com.